What's up, Saiyan Army? So before this video begins, I'm going to do another Q&A voiceover video, video over video. So comment down your questions down below. I know a lot of you guys don't have Instagram. So we're going to do it for the YouTube. So comment any questions that you have down below, fitness related or non-fitness fitness related, anything you want, comment it down below and I will be doing a video answering your questions. So in today's video, we're hitting some Krillin lifts, aka deadlifts, aka Kenny lifts, aka ball sack builder lifts. I have no idea. Anyways, we're hitting some deadlifts, 370 pounds for sets of five. Obviously, this was pre-tweaking my lower back. First question you're gonna ask is, Matt, why are you using straps? The reason being is this bar, the knurling, is really, really tough and just tears the crap out of my hands. So I decided to strap up. Um, reason being is one, I'm not a power lifter. Two, um, I don't have to work on my forearm game. My forearms are definitely not lagging. Bam. And three, grip has never been a problem for me. And if it is, then I'll just strap up. It's no big deal. So that's why I'm using straps for these deadlifts, which actually made the deadlift feel a little bit weird. If you don't use straps and you go to using straps, it definitely feels really weird. So anyways, 370 pounds, we're using the bumper plates. I know it looks like a million pounds, um, which is why I don't like using bumper plates because it looks like a lot more than it is. Um, actually, wait, let's go off topic a little bit, but they actually did a study on this. They took a bunch of Americans and they you know, Americans that moved to Europe and they went from pounds to kgs and all of a sudden they're looking at 50 kg dumbbells and in their head they're thinking it's 50 pounds and they start hitting all kinds of PRs because lifting is so mental. So that's one of the reasons I don't like bumper plates and I'm lifting with um, bearded piccolo on this day so we didn't want to change that much weight so that's why there's a bunch of like 10s and 25s just stacked on the outside and whatnot. Um, also, you'll notice my leggings, the Nike logo has torn off and it was really annoying because as I was pulling the bar up my quads, I would hear a chk and I would get caught on that Nike logo every time because it's um, like that grippy, it's that grippy logo texture. So eventually it started tearing and I just kind of ripped it off. So there's a little tip for you guys, if you guys are lifting in leggings with the Nike logo in front, don't do it use either different leggings or just tear the logo off like I did because whatever but yeah anyways update on my lower back lower back's feeling great I injured it on Monday I rested on Tuesday Wednesday by Thursday I was able to hit the gym again granted it was really light set to 20 but normally it, once I tweak my back it's I usually have to take like a week off but I'll make a video covering all my recovery tips and whatnot and I just talked to you guys about how I handled my recovery because this is really fast especially for me now here's the last set of deadlifts um, we're doing a back off set sets of 10 <laughs> for those of you guys who didn't catch that um, that's why we do deadlifts for all you single Saiyans out there um, yeah so here's the last back off set sets of 10 and let's get into the topic of today's video and that is Matt, do you compete? Have you competed before? Are you looking to compete in the future? And have I competed before? Yes. I competed when I was 17 years old. Back, I entered the Mr. High School Hawaii contest and I won first place. If you guys want to know more about that contest, check out my 10 year Saiyan transformation video. I'll link that down below for you guys to check it out. Um, yeah, that show went great. Um, actually that 10 year transformation video is my fastest growing video that I put up to date. In three months I got over 100,000 views or less than three months. So go check it out if you haven't. Um, second show I did was about three four years ago. I did a men's physique show and I placed third. And I prepped myself and everything for, the, for me. Alright so a lot of times you hear lots of people saying when they're asked about competing is it's really selfish and I 100% agree for those of you guys who have competed competing is really really selfish because it's all about you 
especially when you get to that like six to eight week out period and you're really like grinding on your macros you're trying to keep everything consistent hit your macros every day to the t hit your cardio hit your workouts and you you know obviously your body fat's dropping your mood's changing you're on low carbs you have less energy it takes its toll like on your friends on your family on your like my girlfriend knows um because when you're on low carbs your fuse just gets a little bit slower especially if you're not used to the dieting and being on that low carbs so it's just really really selfish and i remember when i did my men's physique show i would call out sick to work like so many times just because I was just so dead and tired and lazy and just didn't want to do anything because you just have those low car feels where you just feel like getting into the fetal position and just staying there so yeah it's really selfish um, but I think if you haven't competed before and you really want to compete then definitely do it because it's not something you'll regret it's definitely a good experience to try I love um, I think it's so cool taking your body where it's never gone before. You know what I mean? Taking your body to that next level. If you've never seen yourself sub 10% body fat, then why not try to do it? You know, even if you're not going to do it for the show. The show just helps because it puts a deadline to it. Like for me, cutting right now, I'm happy at 170. Reason being is I don't have a show. I don't have a set date deadline. You know what I mean? I'm happy with how I look. So if you haven't competed before, then try it. You know, I would definitely recommend getting a coach. Um, and trying to compete and just seeing where you can take your body experiencing the dedication experiencing everything um, because that's bodybuilding right bodybuilding is about bulking cutting and then for those that compete you compete you know so will i compete in the future who knows i have no real plans to compete yet but who knows maybe i'll get that bug and itch to compete later um, right now i just want to focus on my online clients my online business and just everything i have going on in my life going on in my life and just enjoying new york in general because new york has awesome food so <laughs> dieting in new york would definitely suck um, it's a lot easier if i was back in hawaii because you know i've been eating that stuff my whole life so it's no big deal Anyways, that's the end of the video guys. Before we end, the NASM is still at doing a 14 day free trial. So any of you guys who want to become a personal trainer or those of you guys who just want to, you know, get more knowledge in the field because applied knowledge is power. Check out the link down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love, strength and honor. Aloha. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!